love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, when the world was going after wealth, power and position and due to which resentment, jealousy and hate were abounded, Jesus who incarnated as human showed us how to live and embrace everyone, especially our enemies with love. This is the reason Swami Vedanta once said, had I lived in Palestine in the days of Jesus of Nazareth, I would have washed his feet, not with my tears, but with my heart's blood. Both the readings of today invite us to obey God's norms. The norms are love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. The question here is, who are our enemies? The enemies are not those who are outside of us, but inside of us. Our anger, fear, selfishness and hate are our enemies, impending us to love and be kind to others. A person who hates does more damage to himself than to the supposed outside enemy. Today, Jesus invites us to reach out to those feelings in compassion and pray for their healing. If our inner self is healed, we have no enemy to fight and our soul is so free to love everyone. What Jesus is asking us today is not something extraordinary or unnatural, but it is the only thing that makes sense and being peace to our inner self and hopefully in times to come the person who is really unfriendly to us. We can surely disarm a hating person by acting towards them in a positive and loving way and refusing to be controlled by their negative activities. Today, in a very special way, my dear brothers and sisters, pray to Jesus that we may reconcile with our negativity and love everyone equally. Amen.